COVID-19 is affecting almost every part of the world. Some believe that it's to eliminate fellows or people from Africa. What is your belief? I think it's superstitious for anybody to, to have such kind of um, interpretation or such kind of um, uh, uh, baseless kind of um, charge. Anybody saying that needs to have his head examined properly because COVID-19 is evidence-based. It's something that is, is, is viral, it's a virus and it's been, it's been people, scientists have really, really, really worked on it. Scientists have really, they have, have a lot of, um, gathered a lot of uh, information about it, which is the reason why they were able to develop a vaccine to try to stop it, you understand? It's a virus that mutates, you understand? So anybody who says COVID-19 was developed to kill anybody, is somebody that person is insane? The person doesn't make sense to anybody. It doesn't make sense at all. So, what is the person going to say about HIV? Was, was HIV also created to kill Africans? So, these things are, are health challenges that are there. Human beings are bound to have health challenges. So, when there are health challenges, emergencies, and the rest of them, look, these things have been there for a long time. Pandemics have been there right from the world go. Sometimes it happens like every hundred years or, or so. You understand? Something that is periodic, it happens. You know, sometimes it's environmental. Sometimes it's biological, sometimes it's, you know, you just start like that. And most times, some people say it's from the lab. So it's something that science really have to really, you know, you know um, uh, they are really looking at it and they're working towards, towards uh, whenever such uh, challenges or whenever such a challenge comes up, there are a lot of efforts that have been put in place to, uh, to you know, to fight it, like COVID-19. So it's not true. How will you assess the government of Nigeria uh, the control by the government of Nigeria over COVID-19? I don't think government has done anything to fix the health sector. The health sector is broken down. The health system in Nigeria is not working. We don't have a health insurance. Nigeria does not have national health insurance. If somebody has a headache today, you have, to, you have to fight hard to raise the money to buy Panadol or to go and see a doctor, you have to pay. Nigeria is not organized. Nigeria needs to have functional primary health system from the rural areas up to state level up to tertiary level these things have all been destroyed and this government has not done anything to try to fix the broken down institutions in the health sector and the government even went as far as collecting over three point something billion loans to try to fix the um, and try to do something about battling COVID-19 and they didn't, they didn't do anything have they rendered account Nigeria should ask questions ask Mr. President Mr. President what have you done with the money the loan you collected from World Bank to fight COVID-19 have you have you fought COVID-19 what are the thresholds? What have you achieved within a given period of time? What have you achieved? Somebody said they gave a certain amount of money to some state to build, to build uh, uh, hospitals. I have not seen any hospital in any part of Nigeria. In most state, I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one in Kaduna. I don't think there's any in Abuja. Or if you have seen, maybe you can tell me where it is. So what have they really done at the level of government? They have not done anything. The second wave is here now. Should school, schools be closed down the way people are clamoring? Some are... We are pleading that the school should be opened. What? Well, the government government is irresponsible. That is the reason why you have a lot of a lot of um, uh, voices that are from all over the place. Some are saying open, some are saying close. It's because the government has not done what it should do. If the government had done what it should do and make sure that schools have the needed facilities to enhance. Uh, social distancing to uh, improve the hygienic situations in the schools there, there will be no need for anybody to say don't go to school because you must actually you must really really go to school if you don't go to school there will be a problem because online education in Nigeria is not very sophisticated when we don't yet, we don't yet have the infrastructure for online online education in Nigeria so well it's something that is quite debatable but I think the Nigerian government is highly responsible so should school be open what I'm saying is something that we need to check the um, level of preparation. As long as I'm concerned, no school, no most of these public-owned schools are not prepared. So asking students to go to those uh, facilities where you don't have adequate, you have not made adequate arrangement for social distancing, is like sending them to their graves. So the government should look inwards and do something. Schools are very important. Schools must open. You can't close schools forever. But government must be responsible, like most other governments all over the world. Like the ordinary issue of palliatives, 
uh, nodules, indomie that were given to uh, poor people. The governors stole everything. Is that a government that is serious about uh, fighting a COVID? A government that even still governors where you have uh, a, a country where you have governors that still indomies. So you can understand the reason why they collected loan of 3.4 billion to fight COVID-19, and yet. There's nothing on ground anywhere in, anywhere in the country. Maybe Lagos, maybe Lagos states, they have done one or two things. And Lagos is the only place where I know they are doing something. I don't know where they're getting their money from. But I can tell you that a lot of other states don't have anything on ground. Thank you for your time. Thank you. My name is Comrade Emmanuel Omobiko, Human Rights Writer Association of Nigeria. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.